Yo, what's going on guys? It's G Miners here. Today we have an insanely fun build which revolve around the exotic gauntlets Sun Bracers. This combined with the brand new Solar 3.0 subclass update allows you to throw something like 30 to 40 grenades a minute as long as you have enough adds. You can see just how many nades we are able to throw here in the background gameplay and these solar nades are going to be much stronger than they were before. And then on top of that, we are also spawning elemental wells like crazy for more ability regen and for our teammates. Real quick, before we get into this build, guys, I have been streaming a ton of Destiny over on my Twitch. You can go to twitch.tv slash gminers or check the link in the description. Go give me a follow over there and catch me live every week for some Destiny grinding. Okay, so to start this build off, you need to have the right subclass setup. Obviously, we are on Warlock using the Solar subclass. In here, you can pick whichever super is best for you. We won't really be using our super too much, so it's your call. For our class ability, we have Phoenix Dive, which is brand new to this slot. For our melee ability, I am going to be using the brand new Incinerator Snap, which is absolutely crucial for this to work consistently. And then lastly, for our abilities, we are going to need Solar Grenades in order to pair these with Sun Bracers. For our aspects, first we have Touch of Flame. If you guys remember me mentioning that these Solar Grenades are stronger than before, it is because of the brand new Lava Blobs from this aspect. And then on top of this, we have Heat Rises, which is going to allow us to float and then gain a huge amount of melee energy while killing enemies in the air. For our fragments, we are going to be running four in total. First up is Ember of Searing. This is going to give us more melee energy every time we kill a Scorched enemy. Scorched is a brand new thing to Solar 3.0, so I will go over that in a bit. But we are also using Ember of Torches. With this, every time we use our melee ability and hit something, not kill but just hit, we will make ourselves and our teammates Radiant. Again, Radiant is new, but I will cover this in a second. Third up is Ember of Blistering, which gives grenade energy when killing enemies with Solar Ignitions. And then lastly, we have Ember of Ashes, which will increase the amount of Scorch Sacks that we are able to apply to each enemy. Now, if you haven't messed around too much with Solar 3.0, or this is the first build you are using, a lot of what I said will be completely unknown to you. First and foremost, anything that does Solar Damage is going to Scorch Enemies. When something is scorched, it will now take damage over time, and as more things stack up and add stacks of scorch, the tick damage is then increased. Eventually, stacks will cap out, and an enemy will then ignite. Ignitions are just large explosions on an enemy. I also mentioned the Radiant buff. This will simply increase all weapon damage for a short duration when this buff is applied to your player. As the build suggests, you will need Sun Bracers for this to work, and as far as the mods go, all I am running is Bountiful Wells, which is going to allow me to double my well spawns and then stack them further with extra mods, Well of Life, which will make Elemental Wells heal me over time, and then three copies of Elemental Ordinance. These three copies take my grenades from generating two wells to four wells, which is the max you can generate from any one source. Since we are making solar wells, we are also on a solar subclass. This gives energy to every ability, which makes keeping our melee ability up super easy. The reason that we need our melee ability is because of the way Sun Bracers work. Anytime we get a solar melee kill, we will get 5 seconds of infinite grenades. This lets you get off 5 grenades before it expires, and as an added bonus, these nades last longer than base solars. Now that you know everything to run, let's go over how you are going to play with this build and where everything comes into play itself. The first grenade you have should be held and consumed so that you get heat rises. This will allow you to float and then you can throw grenades easier and most importantly, keep the timer refreshed. From here, you should get a kill with your melee ability and then proceed to shit whip grenades at everything. As long as you are in the air, you are going to get a ton of melee energy back, which will allow you to keep chaining the exotic perk back to back to back. Each grenade should have the chance to generate four elemental wells, as long as they are not directly on top of each other and are getting their own kills. This means you could potentially spawn 20 elemental wells, which is dumb and not even close to necessary, but in a team setting, it can allow your teammates to fully recharge their abilities a few times over. 
I really enjoyed using this build with Wither Horde as well because it was like having another better solar grenade and it allowed me to generate melee energy when I ran out of heat rises by sticking it to an enemy, jumping and waiting for it to die. We also have Phoenix Dive to get us down super quickly if we take a lot of damage in the air and then also give us max health back. This is the first major build I tried out with Solar 3.0, so let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, let me know them in the comments below, and let me know what builds you would like to see next. That's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.